Here is job two. It is a number 10 envelope, no window, sealed, one sheet of 8.5 by 11, C fold with a single BRE number 9 insert using trays 3 and 1. Press New Job. Press Manual. Press Envelope and the screen changes to allow you to change your envelope size. Choose number 10. Before pressing OK in the lower right hand corner, notice in the upper right hand corner a toggle called Ceiling. This is where you can turn the ceiling function off for future job exercises. Press OK. The screen changes to allow you to choose your main document. Press Select Document, then 11 inch. Press OK. Since the job requires a number 9 BRE also, select Add Enclosure. Choose number 9 BRE, then press OK. Since that completes the choosing of enclosures, press the right arrow in the lower right hand corner. Your fold options come up next. Choose C Fold, then the right arrow. Right arrow again. The job is now portrayed on the screen. Notice the screen shows tray 2 is selected and there is no paper. Feed trays are selected by touching the screen in the document section for the tray that is selected, then touching the blank box that shows next to the feed station desired, like this. Notice it selected tray 3 and the station shows paper present. Press 1x. Choose Envelope Stop Position. Every time a new job is programmed, the Envelope Stop Position should be verified or adjusted for reliable operation. The machine pulls one envelope up to the insert table and stops, waiting for the operator to verify stop position and adjust it if necessary. Open the upper unit and look at the stop position. Notice if there is skew in the envelope on the insert table. It should be straight. Next, notice the blue paint mark on the feed table assembly. As a rough estimate of your stop position, this paint mark should line up with your flap fold. You can use a pen to mark the crease so it is easier to see, as I have done here. Decide if adjustments are needed. If it is close, you will usually want to run one and check the output since that is the most important criteria to judge the job by. To adjust, close the upper unit and use the scale on the screen. Touch the arrows to move the envelope in the direction you desire. Since the crease of the fold is to the left of the paint mark, touch the right arrow. I will choose four increments and recheck the stop point. Now the crease is right at the edge of the paint mark. The output will need to be used to fine tune this part of the adjustment. Close the upper unit. Touch the right arrow to check the opening of the envelope by the envelope fingers. The specifications are shown on the screen. Open the upper unit and check to see if the fingers are inside the envelope adjusted correctly for the envelope size and to make sure it is only opened enough to allow the insertion to occur. If the fingers are not adjusted correctly to the width of the envelope or depth is not correct, a stoppage can easily occur at insertion. Depth is adjusted with the envelope stop position adjustment on the previous step. Use the arrow in the lower left corner if the finger depth is too deep, otherwise select OK. Press 1x, selected exit, to run one mail piece for inspection. Okay. 
inspect the mail piece. It should be inserted straight and the inserted document should be close to the bottom of the envelope. The flap should close nicely along the crease. It should not fold the inserted documents. Press start to run the job.